Hi everyone, Mike Smell here, Product Manager for SimStudio Tools. Today I'd like to talk to you about simplifying CAD geometry for simulation. And specifically, I'd like to talk to you about how SimStudio Tools can help you remove small or unnecessary parts from your CAD assembly to prepare it for simulation. Now here we are inside of SimStudio Tools, and this is a classic example of a CAD assembly that might not be ready for simulation directly as it comes from your designer or drafting team. If we were to potentially conduct a modal analysis or an airflow analysis around this geometry, uh, all of the part numbers and small componentry in this assembly are going to make the simulation process itself far more complex than it needs to be uh, for getting the results that you're looking for um, in, in either of those cases, whether it be a modal analysis uh, or a CFD analysis. So with that said, I want to show you how we can use the selection tools inside of SimStudio tools to go ahead and start simplifying this model and removing some of the small and unnecessary parts in this assembly. So if we come up to the toolbar and we click the drop down under select, you'll see that we have uh, a selection tools menu that flies out and we have a number of different opportunities here to select components from the model. So first we can select by size, we can also select by boundary, and we can select by name. So we'll go through each one of these tools in a little more detail to show you how they work. And we'll just simply start um, here at the bottom with select by name. So when I choose select by name, I'm going to be able to enter the name of the components that I would like to select in the model. So in the case of this model, um, I see that there are a number of parts with the name header, there are a number of diodes and things like that. So I could type in any one of those terms and any part in the model browser that contains that name will be selected. So for example, I'll go ahead and type in header and say OK and you will see that everything with the name header um, is selected. Now in this case these are pretty large parts and I would probably not want to remove these but in any case you see how um, the select by name tool is working. Now again what we're doing here is selecting items and once items are selected we have the ability to do any of the downstream features in SimStudio tools. We can delete those parts, we can suppress those parts, we can move those parts, um, etc. The next thing that we'll take a look at is using the select by boundary box. And in this case, we can start by picking a specific component on the model. And what it's going to do is create a bounding shape around the centroid of the item that we've selected. So here you see that we're creating a box. We also have the opportunity to create a cylinder or a sphere. Um, we have the ability to control the selection type. So anything that's fully enclosed in this boundary will be selected or anything outside this boundary will be selected. So depending on how you would like to use this bounding box to control your selection, uh, you have those those opportunities here. Further, you also have the ability to choose the intersected option, which says rather than requiring the bounding box to fully enclose a given component or part, uh, you have the ability to say that if it's intersecting, it will also be selected. So let's take a look at this in closer detail. You'll notice I've got a bounding box created around this component, and I have drag handles that will allow me to resize this box appropriately and you'll see as it begins to fully enclose components in, in space, those will be selected in blue. And then I have the opportunity to use SimStudio tools to make a decision about what I want to do next. So now that the components are selected, I can right click and I have the ability to again delete. I can come down and either isolate those components so I can focus on them, I can hide them, or I can suppress them. So in the context of preparing this for simulation, what I might want to do is simply suppress those. And we'll notice now those parts are removed from the remaining geometry. Now the last bit that we'll look at from the selection tools is select by size. And 
in a similar manner, what SimStudio Tools is going to do is evaluate your geometry based on a size range slider. And as we increase the size of this slider, you'll notice we'll uh, begin to select more and more parts from the geometry. So if we're wanting to use this to very quickly and easily select all the small parts that potentially would not have you know, a lot of mass in the context of a modal analysis or would make it very difficult to calculate the flow around or potentially wouldn't have much impact on the flow if we were doing a CFD analysis to look at the cooling of this uh, assembly, we can simply adjust to size you'll see I have a number of small components on the board selected and I can say OK and then in the same manner I can access the right click menu and choose to either suppress, show hide, or unselect uh, these components. So I'll go ahead and suppress them as well. So you'll notice in this uh, video we talked about using the different types of selection tools inside of SimStudio Tools to make it very easy to select uh, and remove unnecessary or unimportant parts from your CAD assembly as you prepare for simulation. I hope that this video has been helpful and I look forward to having you uh, join us for another video about SimStudio tools. Thank you.